Let's go off while we're still kind of up in the attic and take a look at a couple of more pictures here. And uh, here we go. I want to show you a picture here of a crack between the wall and the ceiling. Okay. Brian wrote in, he sent pictures of a crack that he fills up with plaster just about every year and it keeps coming back. So if you look carefully, you can see there's a lot of patching going on. He wanted to know if I had some flexible caulking that we could use that he could paint and do it. And uh, so it's interesting because uh, my first reaction to his problem turned out to not be the right answer for him, but it was something for most people that have this problem. So I'm gonna run down that one first. Because I took a look at that. He has a 68-year-old house, plaster walls and ceiling, eighth-inch crack, keeps coming back, and how to seal them up. My first reaction was that what we were probably dealing with was trust uplift, okay? Now, I'm just looking here, and I see that I kicked out my trust uplift. So let's go in here and do uh, what I encourage you all to do is go to search. And we just come down. I love my keywords. And so we're going to look at trust here. And we can quickly find here, where are we going? Hiding a plaster crack caused by trust uplift. So what is trust uplift in here? Here's some more cracks that you can see uh, that are right across the top of the wall. And uh, you get them into a lot of houses. What the trust uplift thing is all about is that, um, uh, where is my drawing that I wanted to show you of the trust uplift itself? Oh, I messed it up and didn't put it in here. Okay. I thought I had that all together for you. Well, I'll go back to waving my hands in the air. <laughs> trust uplift is a truss, is a triangular thing with a bunch of other little pieces of wood in it, okay, that go all over and hold it. And what happens is that because everything is bound together and the bottom piece of wood is buried in the insulation, all the wood up here goes through hot cold cycles and all the wood down here stays at about room temperature or even gets warm in the winter time because it's right under right over the ceiling under some circumstances that causes the whole thing to with expansion and contraction it's getting cold up here it's getting hot down here so it's pushing out this way can't go out any further so it buckles up and it buckles up with such force that it lifts the ceiling off the wall and some people have come in and tried to nail the ceiling down to the wall and it lifts the wall off the floor and even two floors high where they've tried to lock it all together. It's a tremendous strength. And so the real solution to that is to come in and tie things in. In fact, I'm going to take uh, the trouble here to go back because I'm sure I have this picture here and I'm going to run back and find it for you because uh, it gives you a good detail on how to do that. You can see it's buried deep here in my things, but we will get here. There we go. And ceiling trust uplift. Oh, I don't have it there. And I thought I did, and it's not there. So I uh, really didn't get it there. Okay, forget that. What we do is that your drywall coming across ceiling. Now, what we have with Brian is plaster, but if you have drywall across ceiling, we don't nail the drywall to the center where it wants to go up and down. Okay, or we do, we do nail it there, but we don't attach it. We, we come over and we actually nail it 18 inches away, attach it to the wall, the truss goes up and down, and the whole ceiling flexes a little bit. And by being 18 inches away with our screw attachments, that's far enough away that the drywall can actually take significant movement without cracking. And so the truss rises up, the ceiling out here comes up a little bit less than just in the center. The wall stays steady and you get that flex. And that's the real patch job that we do that eliminates the crack. The other thing that we can do to eliminate the crack is decorative. We can go up and put a piece of molding, big cove molding in the corner, and that'll hide the crack. Now, if you attach the molding to both the ceiling and the wall, what will happen is it'll break the molding. It'll want to rip it open. So most people attach it to the ceiling. My problem with that, as we found, is that as it goes up, the place it exposes is a different color than what was behind it. Now, you could have painted it all the same, but a few years later, you know the wall fades, but behind the molding, it doesn't fade. There's no light. So when it lifts up, you have this stripe of a change in color that shows up. 
What I prefer to do is drop my molding down a little bit, attach it to the wall, and not quite come, my ceiling's up here, my molding is down below. Actually an inch low, a big crack. When that all moves, I don't see anything. But it's a big enough crack that I can sneak a rope light inside the molding and use it to light up the whole room with a great decorative effect of light spilling out of the molding. And that justifies having that opening, which hides the crack. Okay? So, if you, uh, I'll, I'll, if you look up uh, that, I'm going to get that drawing that uh, shows that all to you into the website, and you'll be able to see that detail. Now, back to Brian's thing is this next picture. That's his attic. Oh, no trusses, it turns out, when we got to it. And so with no trusses, what we have here is that I can see he's got a lot of boards, and in other pictures, he had a lot of storage up here. So although he's got a little more insulation here, he doesn't have here. And so we're back to the same thing. This board's going to be really cold in the winter on this side, but five and a half inches away, it's going to be hot because it's on the ceiling. And so this board itself could be flexing enough to lift a little bit and cause that cracking. And so what I suggest is simply raise the floorboards where he wants to put something in here and cover this all with at least R12 of insulation so that it simply doesn't get hot cold like that. And he may find that the crack settles down to nothing or enough that he could just cock it shut.